Now, uh, let's make sure that when you do sketch your area on, try not to get this dark. I'm only doing this for the sake of the video so that you can see where I'm painting. Now we're going to be going into a balsam-based medium. You use whatever medium you wish. And I'm going to be loading, and I would like to take a minute to show you how I load my paint. And I'm going to be going into this color, which is our French Violet. And see, I pull that color down, load it in, and work at it just a little bit till I have it just exactly what I want. Always look into this area here where I'm pointing to make sure it's nice and smooth, because if it's nice and smooth, it's going to be smooth on your piece. Now, we're going to use this color throughout the uh, violet on this fire. So we're going to pull this in towards the center area of the leaf. See the little line there? That represents the center. Now pull that in and pull to the sides and softly soften that down. We'll come back and make a few little wipeouts. Now pull in, see how I'm starting at the outer edge, pull in and pull in, turn and pull into the area. Now over on this side, take your brush and pull into the area. Leave this area here a little bit open and we can come down and just barely soften that down. After we've set that in, we take our brush and pull in a little bit for a little light. So we can know where we're going to have some highlights and pull out a little bit here. Again, pulling just enough to let a little spark of light show. Remember, this is going to be light enough to be your lights anyway, but and sometimes we, we want just a little lighter than what we would see there. Now just a little bit of light there and just a touch there. Then come back in and we will go into our deep blue green and begin by taking your comma strokes and pulling into and in between the area with deep blue green. Turn and pull into the area. Now, don't be afraid to pull your color into the petal. We're setting up our background and keeping it rather cool so that the violet color that we have will look a little warmer. Let's come back and take you on the second firing. Okay, now I've uh, slightly sketched over some of our uh, firing uh, so that again you can see where I'm going to be painting. Uh, I'm going to start with the flowers first and then I have lightly sketched with pencil back here for the leaves, but I wanted to emphasize this as we were going to be painting it first. Again, we're going into our color, our violet color, French violet. Now we'll go over here and turn and pull in. And pull out. And then, again, we'll pull this down here, pulling out. And pulling out, turning down, and pulling some of these areas out. Now we want this area to be much lighter than some of these other areas. So we'll keep that about like that. Now we're going to go into the lip petal. 
Now how we do that is we're going, I'm going to first of all start in this area and I'm going to go out to the outer edge and pull in. And still not taking a lot of texture out but just slightly. Just kind of building the color a little bit. And coming around and filling in. Pulling this up. Now, as you can see, we're going to be getting a little bit more texture right about this area here. Turn and pull into and fill that area in and kind of pull this area up and make sure you leave some marks in here. Now then I'm going to go into a little black green with antique green mixed on my brush and I'm going to go in between the area and pull up watching the shapes because I can go in and around a little bit in there. Watch your shapes a little bit there because especially around your flowers so that if we have any scalloping, that's we want to retain that. So I'll just fill this in with the color. Now when I get up to this top area here, I want to kind of bend over the little light. I pick up chartreuse with just a little of the um, meadow green and I turn it so that the light's going to kind of hit right there at the top. Now we're ready to fire again. Uh, now take your um, piece and fire again at 017 cone and let's come back and go into the next firing. Now the first thing we're going to be doing now is we're going to go into our French violet with just a little bit of blue mixed on your brush. So consider that if you were mixing with a knife, you would be mixing one half of each. So you're going in now and you're going to go right in here at the top area and just slightly pull that in, right in here making a soft color right there on the uh, sepal. As you can see right here. And you're going to be graying that on each of the areas that are looking onto this column area of the flower right in here is inside the column. But this is the back right there. Pull this in slightly right in here. Pulling this into that area. And then we can always shape that up. See how it starts to give a feeling of coming into the area? Now pull the same thing, same color, right in here. Now once we do that, then we come back with our French violet again, but not really quite as heavy as we you might think we're going to, not yet. And now we're going to go in and we're going to set our brush down and pull into it. Now this brush that I'm using seems too big to you. Well then be sure and go to a smaller brush. See how I'm pulling that in? Pulling this in and I'm trying to get a feeling of some little uh, texture on the petals there. But it's quite light because these are the lighter petals. We're going to take this into one more firing where we can get a little more depth. We kind of go around and then we'll darken some of these areas later. So just pull that in. So that you have a very light feeling. Now we're going to go in and grab that edge and see how you pull that around with your brush. Let me use a smaller brush so you can see that. 
And like I say, you just might find that to be the one you want to use. See how you pull this in and pull it towards that center? Because see, this is going to be dark, much darker than the other outer petals there. Pull in. Then we'll create some pretty uh, texture there. Pull this in. Pulling in. Now, what we do, uh, let me stop here a minute and show you how we take this out. We'll take our brush, turn it like this, and then follow a line that will kind of curve in and come up towards this point. And then just soften it out a little bit, soften around it. Now take your brush and pull on up into this area where I had you work. Remember I left, had, left it quite light before. I'll pull this up like so. And then we're going to be wiping out again, but not until we take a few more of these petals out. So where you want a petal to swing up, not petals, but what I mean is the little scalloping, this being the lip petal, but we do want to scallop. So see how you pull those areas up? And then when you pull that up, then softly pull down, let, leaving some darks in some cases and then that'll give you that nice uh, scalloping, but it'll be soft. Try not to make too many and keep it softer so that we don't have the harsh look. Now, I'd like for you to fire this and let's come back and let's complete our piece. And notice that it is quite rough looking on the camera because of the colors before firing. But let's come back in and see what's happened. As you can see, the color of fires are pretty reddish violet, and I have gone ahead and given a wash of yellow over these little areas that we just wiped out from that last fire. And you see how they just come pop right back out. And I went ahead and washed this one here, and no, this one does not show on that flower. But um, what we do it now is to come back in and intensify only a few places like, like in here, and we're going to use a little bit of our purple and our red violet together, and we intensify just where we kind of think we're going to be needing it, right in here, and then maybe a little bit more brown right in there, and because it has some of the, of the violet color underneath, it, it really uh, blends beautifully, and then wherever we want to intensify anything on our um, petal here, the lip petal, we go right ahead and set that in. Now out here on these outer edges, we don't do anything because we've done enough with the blue and the blue uh, and that violet mixed together. It's just enough. We want the only place you want to do is intensify any places in here. If we need to wash this a little bit more, fine. But be very careful about overworking because if you do overwork it, then it gets very stiff, and I believe that myself that uh, orchids and iris can be so overworked if too much is done to them. It's that soft freedom that we use in painting these type of flowers that uh, give them a much more, a much prettier look. Now, just more washes is, is what we want, rather than too much of the um, uh, actual texturizing. I just kind of wash that over. Now let's take another look. We've just come in and intensified a little bit and we are firing on a 17 cone all the way through our piece and I hope you've enjoyed painting orchids. I've certainly enjoyed showing you how. Thank you.